Hello guys, my name is Khan and in today's video we will discuss about that how Tableau uh, works with numeric and categorical variable and how different functionalities within Tableau uh, behave if you use the numeric variable for that functionality like uh, like the size of uh, the bars or the size of the points if we use the numeric or the categorical variable so these kind of things we will discuss in this video so for this video i will be using again my us data that i have also already used for several other videos too so this is about uh, the, the usa and each observation is uh, showing us the each state of usa and then we have some variable like uh, population death marriage so it's more like a demographic data and then we also have a region variable which is actually dividing the data into four uh, regions of USA so this is about the data so I will close this window and first thing I will do I will import the data into Tableau as I told you guys before that in Tableau works in three steps in order to work in Tableau, first you need to import the data into Tableau. Secondly, you create your visualization and in the last you will share your visualization or dashboard with your users. Uh, so my data is in Excel. So I will say Excel. This is the data that I am using. I will say open. And now I will go to sheet 1. So the thing, important thing to note here is that uh, even when I imported the data, there are some there's some by default Tableau have given some data types to each variable. So this is a kind of a uh, geographic variable considered as a dimension. So again, this is a uh, geographical variable as you can see based on the globe sign. Uh, and then we have ABC, which is also a dimension and it's a string variable and under which you can see that there is uh, Southwest, some English letters are written down, whereas this new, population is considered as numeric and the numeric variables are usually associated with the green color whereas the string variable or the dimensions are associated with the blue color uh, as you can see all here again and one important thing is that the date variable which is a kind of a numeric variable but Tableau consider that variable as a uh, dimension and you can also see that it's in blue color uh, so now I will quickly go to my sheet one and I will show you guys here that how Tableau behaves uh, when it comes to a dimension or it's a mayor or a categorical or a numeric variable. So suppose I have a region variable here. If I move it to the columns, you can see that even the color of the region here is blue and, and there is no mathematical operation applied over this region. The first thing is that you can't apply any mathematical operation over the region because it's a category, it's a string variable. But let's see if I drag the population, which is the Meyer variable, to rows. So if I put it here, you can see that there is a population is in a function uh, under the sum function. So there is a mathematical operation get applied to population. And if you want to change this operation, you can easily change if you click this down arrow button. And there is measures which is sum, so you can use uh, any measure according to your need. By default, mostly Tableau apply the sum function, which is a bit more reasonable function uh, to apply. In the same way, we can also see that how. Uh, so I will give you another example uh, for the geographic variables too. So suppose I want to create my data points on a map. So first, select like country. And then within the country, I have a state variable. I will select the state. So here you can see that uh, all of the data point. But suppose if I want to add uh, a categorical variable to see different data points uh, based on different colors. So if I apply it, uh, so let's see if I apply the region on my color option. You can see here that when I applied a categorical variable for color, uh, which is a dimension so it have created four different colors for each region on my graph which you can easily see it here but let's see if i do uh, again do the same thing uh, quickly country state and then now if suppose not categorical variable if i apply a color a numeric variable to color let's see population 
So once I applied the colors, you can see that Tableau have added a range scale, which is saying that the more it's getting darker, it means that it's, the population is increasing in that region. So this is, as you can see that now, Tableau have behaved differently for numeric variables when I applied the uh, when I applied color when I applied the numeric variable to the color compared to when I applied the categorical variable to the color option. So you so when you apply a categorical variable to different functionalities of Tableau, uh, you have to be a bit considerate that is that variable is numeric or categorical. And now what I will show you guys another important thing uh, is that uh, so if I create quickly another map again a geographical map so it will easily show us the data points more clearly country state and suppose if we want to uh, change this data point size based on the population so I applied within the sizes so but now let's see that suppose if i want to uh, also apply the filter so i will also give two examples the first example will be that if you apply the filters based on a categorical variable how it works so let's see if i go to filters or i can simply also drag my variable from filter so let's see if i apply from so let's say if I apply the state filter and suppose so here you can see that now there is a filter here and suppose let's see if you don't want to see first five states Alabama, Alaska, Arizona, this, this and if I apply it okay so you can see that you have applied a filter based on the categorical variable and those states arizona california all those states are not, not now not shown in my graph but there is an important thing to note here is that when i applied a categorical filter over this graph it's also giving me again if i go to edit filter it's also giving me a top option so let's see if i reapply i, I also want to see these states and now let's see if i go to my this option top here you can see that you also apply you also can apply the filters because so if you want to see only those 10 states in which the population is the highest so in order to apply that i will go to by field so i don't want to apply top 10 by population so once you apply this top option make sure that you are doing some logical or giving a logical argument which makes sense otherwise you may, uh, may maybe uh, may done something which is uh, uh, we don't maybe don't give you an error or but it's it will not make much sense so here i will say sum of population so now if the graph and i will say okay or apply it will show me only those 10 states which in which the uh, population is the highest i will say apply okay so now you can see that i have only 10 states even if you can count 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 the 10 is here so you can see that we have 10 states uh, in which the population is highest uh, the another thing is that it's not necessary that you can only restrict yourself to 10 states only you can also change it uh, to more so suppose if i want to change it edit filter i'll go to top and i will say i want to see not 10 i want to see 15 so apply okay so now you can see that we have 15 state in which uh, the population is highest again i will give you one more option instead of 10 you can also go for uh, the least or the i will go to top instead of fit top i will say bottom so show me the states which have the lowest population so this is a very important feature because sometimes you will be having uh, you will be having a lot of categories and you don't want you just want to focus on those uh, data points which are on the top notch or which are on the bottom notch so this filter can easily allow you to uh, to focus your analysis on few fewer category so let's apply okay 
now you can see these are the states in which we have the lowest population now let's do the same graph and then we'll apply the filters based on a uh, numeric variable currently we apply the filter based on uh, categorical variables so i will quickly add country first then state and again if i want to see the point sizes based on the population so as you can see that as the size increasing implies that the population is increasing within that state so now i will apply a filter based on a, a based on a string uh, sorry based on a numeric variable so suppose if i want to see the filter the data based on marriage number so if i keep it here So now you can see that I have applied the filter and it's asking me that you can select the range. So this is the lowest marriage number if, uh, in my data and this is the maximum marriage number in my data. So suppose if I want to see the data in which the marriage is between suppose 6000, I can easily write down here 6000 to probably 200,000 only show me those states apply okay so after applying that filter it have only showing me those states in which uh, the marriage numbers are within the, the given uh, filter but again if i there are some other very good options too within my within this edit uh, within for uh, within the filter if i go to edit filter Another important thing to note here is that when I apply a numeric variable here in my filter, the options are not the same as the option I was getting when I used a categorical variable or a dimension within the filter. The options are different here. So that's why you can uh, play around with uh, options a bit differently for categorical and for a numeric variable. Uh, so let's see there is another option which is saying uh, at least so if i go to at least so i am saying that show me those uh, observation in which the marriage is supposed above 62000 and i will say apply okay so now it's showing me only those states in which the marriage is above 62000 uh, and again there is another form of filter if i go to edit filter mm. I will say reset. Okay. And now, if there is another option which is at most, so it's showing me that don't show me anything above this thing. So I will select. So I don't want to see that. Only show me those observation in which the marriage numbers are at most for one hundred twenty thousand. So I will say apply. So now it's showing only those two states in which the marriage numbers are at least below the filter that I have applied. And again, if I go to edit filters, there are some special options available that if you want to include none values, non values, you can also play around with because sometimes you, if you have missing data, that you can use this special kind of option too, special tab option too. Okay, so. So in short, for this video, we discussed that uh, when you import the data, how the uh, numeric and the string variables will look like in your data view. Then we discussed that how when you add uh, those uh, categorical variables to your graphs, what will be their color. Uh, and when you apply a measure to your graph, uh, the table will apply some numeric operation over it. Then we discuss that how you can apply a string uh, and measure variables to your uh, uh, to your geographic so in to your geographic so, so to your map graphs and then we also play around then that how you can apply a numeric variable uh, to do, uh, to see that how the colors vary across. Uh, your graph based on your numeric variable and then we also see that uh, the same thing if you apply a string variable to your graph and then how you can apply uh, uh, 
dimension to your filter what are the options will be available when you apply a dimension to a filter and then how you can select only the top or the bottom data points based on that filter and then we also discuss then uh, what are the options available when you apply a numeric variable to your filter and what are the options available for numeric variable in a filter so that's all for the video thank you for watching the video